Hey guys, what's going on? It's Angie Anything. I am your Monday peep. And, um, welcome back to the channel. We're almost at 40 subscribers, which I want to thank you guys for subscribing. You guys are awesome. You're the peeps. And, um, I have a topic today that, um, that I wanted to cover. And safety. Or, you know, feeling safe. And, um, I realized, like, when I lived um, in Reading, Pennsylvania, and when I lived in Audubon, Pennsylvania, I didn't feel safe at home. And for various reasons. Um, like, in, in Reading, we were in a neighborhood where we were the only gay couple. And we had, you know, seriously, people in the neighborhood did not want us there. Which you think is kind of, I don't know, so... 1980-ish, but it still happens. Um, it still happens, and it's and it's kind of crazy, but it, it just does. I apologize for the background noise. I have my window open because it's pretty warm in my office, and um, Rufy was sweating. So, um, so when we moved to Audubon, Pennsylvania, um, the neighborhood was was a little bit better. And it wasn't a matter of like, oh, I think my neighbors are going to try and get into my house and, you know, whatever. I mean, in Reading, we had neighbors actually, there was actually a safety threat. You know what I mean? I had glass broken on my, on my home and it was crazy. So, like, that was, that was really a shock for me because that's the first time I ever encountered actual, like, neighbors trying to be I don't know they, it was it was actually dangerous and I was very surprised but once I moved to Midland I didn't feel safe because the house was so big and we couldn't change the locks and because we were renting and it was like I don't know I just felt like unsafe it was a huge piece of land and I just didn't prefer it. I, I didn't, I mean, I loved the home, but I didn't really ever feel safe there. I don't know how to explain it any better. I know it probably sound half crazy, but I just didn't. Now, here, there's a lot of different factors that make me feel safer. Like, Shauna's Grammy lives right downstairs. We're in the apartment upstairs, and Shauna's Grammy is right downstairs. So if anything ever happened, God forbid, you know, it would just be either her hollering upstairs or us hollering downstairs. You know, because it's like a duplex deal. Um, I'm further away from my friends, but my friends haven't even bothered to call since, you know, since I moved for the most part. Which has kind of upset me, but it kind of shows you things. Like, okay, I'm a few minutes further away and... You know, and unless I call you, we don't talk. Whatever. Um, and, like, I always thought that I wouldn't feel safe without a security system. But in this home, I feel safe. So it's like, it, it kind of made me wonder, is, is safety in, in the family, friends, and things around you? Or is it in your mind? You know, and, and, I don't know, maybe it's something that you have to give yourself. Like, you have to give yourself a sense of security. You can't sit there and expect for ev everything and everyone around you to make you feel safe. Maybe. I don't know. And, um, any of you that watch my main channel, Angie Anything, you guys know that I am working on losing weight. Um, I haven't been doing so good, but I'm still working on it. And um, tomorrow night I'm going to be making a video about that um, on my main channel for you guys. But I wanted to ask you guys to either make a video or leave a comment. Once I get to my goal weight, which is like 145, 140, right around there, I'm either going to give myself the gift of The squeaking was Rufus. He apparently wants to play. 
Hold on. I gotta let you guys see this because it's funny. Hold on. Hold on. Look, he loves his little. It, li it used to be a son, but now it's. Oh, he knows I'm videotaping. Mm. Rufus. Anyway. He gets shy when he knows I'm videotaping him. Okay. So. Good grief, Ange. Get the camera right. Okay. So, when I get to my goal weight, I'm going to give myself either karate lessons, which I used to. I used to be a yellow belt in Taekwondo um, when I was 10, I think. I think I was 10. Or I'm going to enroll in, in like a, there's a gym by uh, Shauna's mom's house, maybe like 10, 20 minutes away, and they have boxing. I was going to either do that, and it's kind of like sparring. It's not actual get in the ring and I'm going to knock the hell out of you. It's kind of like um, a conditioning class for boxing. So I'm either going to give myself boxing as a congratulatory or as an accomplishment, like a present, or like as a thank you to myself for making it, or I'm going to enroll myself in Taekwondo. And I want to know what you guys think I should do. Should I do boxing, which helped me get in shape when I was a teenager? Because um, I did that when I was around... 17, 18, I think. That helped me get in shape. And I didn't do any formal training, but I did do a couple of actual fights in the ring with, with like, some grown men. Um, did pretty good, too. But, um, should I do boxing or taekwondo? What do you guys think? Okay, now factor in the fact that I have ugly feet, and for taekwondo, you have to be barefoot. I don't know. But I'm going to do one of those. So I'm not sure which one. But let me know what you guys think as far as what I should do. And that is all that I had for today. I hope you guys are having an awesome Monday. And um, don't worry to the rest of the peeps. Like I know I have a couple of questions and challenges that I'm going to do. Um, I just have to actually go back through and, and watch all the videos again and make a list. Because they're Helter Skelter. So I will get to them. But... It, just not on this video. So much love and peep out.